dear friends and partners from the trade worldwide, tour operators and travel agents. I'm Hisham Zahzoua, the Minister of Tourism of Egypt. I'm sending this message uh, to you to ask you uh, to help us maintain our partnership the coming period as we always did. Egypt, after the 30th of June, witnessed a, a shift and a major political change. Unanimously, the people of Egypt requested to have this change and move adamantly on the path of democracy. And the current interim government, of which I'm uh, honored to be part of, is adamant to fulfill the wish of the Egyptian people and move down the democratic path and the human rights path and all the values that you and us and the whole world of the free world appreciate and ask for at all times. However, having said that, on a technical basis, I'm addressing this to you. Egypt at this stage wants to move forward with the tourism file as it did before. Egypt is a very important tourism destination. You know that. You're a partner to Egypt and you know it. However, because of some unfortunate coverage from the media uh, and some of the negative travel advisories, of which, while I do understand, and we all understand uh, the reason behind it, yet I have to admit that it should be reconsidered by these relative governments to lift these travel advisories. Why? Many reasons. First, the areas, particularly in the Red Sea area and Southern Sinai, is quite safe and sound. One of the uh, reasons I'm saying that, that in spite that at the moment there is a curfew in Egypt in many places, it does not include the Red Sea area or the uh, Sharm Sheikh or Southern Sinai area. That is a reflection that the government is comfortable for any guest to come and enjoy his or her time, uh, family-wise, enjoy their time in Egypt, sound and safe. We accordingly ask these different governments, particularly in Europe, our partners, to lift, uh, even on a gradual basis, the travel, negative travel advisories, not to include the Red Sea area as a start of Southern Sinai, and accordingly enable you as our partners to continue to do business with us and send the many people around the world that are looking forward to come to Egypt as soon as they can. Having said that, uh, I'm sure I'm confident with the stabilization of the situation on ground in Egypt. The violence that have may, you have may seen, uh, seen in the, uh, your television screens, I assure you that level of violence is going and dwindling down very fast. Uh, the security and safety is now currently even better by the day, by the hour. So I feel confident in sending you that message uh, to witness that and observe it and get in touch with our offices. We have, as you may well know, 17 offices throughout the world. Get in touch for more information in that respect. And accordingly, start moving with this uh, in the spirit of partnership in promoting Egypt again as soon as we all can. Uh, I, believe, I believe that uh, Egypt has a beautiful future when it comes to tourism. I believe you are keen to send your clients to Egypt as, as soon as you can. Please do that and please ask your government to reconsider its uh, travel advisories and the level of travel advice at this stage in a way to permit, at least on a gradual basis, with the betterment of the situation on ground uh, accordingly. This is a short first message to you. I look forward to, to maintain contact 
either in person, either by visiting you or you visiting us, or maintain any positive news as the one I'm sending now today, that I feel more comfortable and more confident of the situation when it comes to the welfare of our clients visiting the country and the security and the and the safety of their uh, of their visits and the safety and security uh, on ground in that respect. Thank you for listening and giving me this opportunity, and I will be always in touch with you. Thank you, and all my best.